Hey guys, we're something here. Uh, so, the other day I got the uh, Pink Ranger Morpher. This is uh, only available from GameStop, uh, at least in the US. I'm not sure where it is elsewhere. Uh, so, I have already taken it out. Uh, here is the uh, Morpher itself. I currently had a pterodactyl coin in there. Uh, it does come with a actual buckles so you can wear it on on your uh, belt does it work the answer is kind of as you'll see it's a bit heavy <laughs> uh, but yes yeah, so that is a thing you can do with it which uh, I personally find kind of cool uh, it does come with all five power coins all five original power coins. It does not come with any of the movie ones, which is odd because it is a movie morpher. Uh, so uh, it has a nice stand. Uh, you're supposed to use this to just kind of slide it down on there, but you really don't have to. Uh, uh, the, be aware the coins do just stay in by their tabs. And as I put it down, they all just fell out because, again, they're they're literally just staying on their on by their bottom tab, and that's it. <laughs> uh, uh, so you can see the got the pink buckler, the actual buckler. And uh, this is actually kind of cool for me because uh, I've never had any version of the Geo Buckler, whether it be my Morphin, the Japanese version, anything. So this is my, actually my first one. Got a handle for holding, and the buttons on the button is on the right side. There are multiple phrases for each coin, and it does change colors. And uh, so it's just, I assume it's how the, the original work as well. You just kind of screw it in and then close it. Uh, but I, I honestly have no idea if that's true or not. Uh, well, we better look at the coin. Uh, so there's the pterodactyl. On the back, you have the pink ranger. And uh, those uh, tabs are how it tells which coin's which. I assume the actual activating thing is the uh, little smaller indents in there that are hitting uh, these uh, buttons, black buttons. Uh, but I don't actually know that. Now, because there is a pink filter, <laughs> uh, the colors end up being kind of weird. <laughs> so, if I put the yellow coin in here, it ends up kind of more orangey than yellow. Like, it, it's a pink orange. And even the, and the camera doesn't even want to pick that up. <laughs> Where's the phrase I'm looking for? Power up, Yellow Ranger. Aisha, time to morph. There we go. Uh, so uh, it does say the names of the uh, other rangers that were in the movie, minus Tommy. There is no uh, tiger coin in here. Uh, so you get the Stone Quarry Trio and Billy uh, name dropped. Uh, I believe the voice actor is Liz Freeman. Uh, I know there were people complaining about not being uh, Amy Jo Johnson. They were never going to get Amy Jo Johnson. I don't know why people thought they would. Shh. 
So you got the blue lights, which again, become kind of purple. So you get the time for action, the yeah, the power coin, the kicking you over to Keller, and the uh, it's somebody it's your turn phrases essentially. So, Mammoth or Mastodon. Which again ends up being more purple than black. It's really hard to get that in a way where you're going to actually be able to see the colors. Adam, it's time. Okay, I'm actually trying to remember. Is it Mastodon? Where is it? Kicking it over to Mastodon. Mastodon, okay. I can never remember if it's Mastodon or Mammoth because I know it's different between G Ranger and uh, Power, Power Rangers. I think technically Power Rangers is the correct one, but I don't know for sure. And of course, we have the uh, T Rex Power Coin, which is really the only one where the Keller works. <laughs> Outside of pink. Red Ranger, it's your turn. The camera's not picking up well, but it's actually very, very red. <laughs> Again, the each of the power coins, as well as having the uh, dino on, well, dino on the front, uh, has the uh, ranger themselves on the back. I'm going to keep pink in there for our display purposes. Uh, so, you, again, so moving more first, you get the uh, colored lightning bolts. It does actually have the uh, G-Ranger symbol on the back. Uh, what's interesting to me is that there's actually molded indentations on here like it's been used. Uh, so I kind of like that. Uh, I'm sure it's not for everyone, but something that I kind of enjoy. Uh, and the molded indentations are not going to show up on the uh, camera, I doubt. Yeah, they're not showing up. Uh, So, uh, yeah, I actually really like this. Uh, again, my first time with a, uh, again, Geobuckler Power Morpher. Uh, and uh, I'm glad I got it. Uh, they are expensive. Uh, they are 50 bucks. Uh, I had a coupon, so I was able to pay very, very little. Oh, and just be aware, there will be marks on the side from using the buckler. It, it's just going to happen. There's no way of avoiding it. Uh, actually, never mind. That is uh, actually painted screws. I thought that was uh, marks on the buckler, buckler, but it's actually painted screws on there. So they had the screws hidden by paint. Not very well, though, because I noticed that immediately when I was putting the buck buckle in. <laughs> It also, for some reason, came with, and here they are, milk caps, or as most people know them, pogs of the Pink Ranger. And what I find amusing is, uh, the pogs are not all cut the same. <laughs> See, there's a uh, one where it's a uh, bit off <laughs> on the back there. 
personally, I am glad I picked this up. Uh, I was not going to pick up the normal Legacy Morpher, but when they announced the pink one, I was like, yeah, I want to grab that. Uh, the coins are also decently hefty. Like, they're not too heavy, but they have a weight to them. Like, in the box, you will feel the weight when you take them out because they're all in one box. Uh, but, yeah, that's it for now. I just wanted to show this off. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great time, or it may be. Bye, guys.